Hello from the North Cliffs of Cornwall. We are going to be doing a circular route today from the coastal path and we're going to go along the coastal path, go down to the Red River, River. Valley and back up to the car park. It is 4.6 miles. I have a... Let's start this route. The path is nice and flat and it's really really popular um, with car parks just off the path so it's easily accessible and plus the views. It is hard not to stop at every single bench and patch of grass. Here we are at Derrick Cove, not sure why it's named Derrick Cove. When you get to the North Cliff car park that's when the accessibility route ends for the path um, which starts at Bassett's Cove which is all the way in the distance there. Now along this coast path it, it runs as you can see directly next to the road and that's because you've got the road, the path and then sheer drop. In the distance there you can see um, Carbis Bay and kind of the sprawl of Carbis Bay and St Ives. The entirety of the north coast pretty much upwards. Just in the distance before that road starts you have Hell's Mouth which is a very popular area to visit but just before that this is called Hudders Cove. Oh sweeping seagulls. Along this section of coast there is quite a lot of places where you can stop and sit down for your own picnic or if you just want to generally take in the view. Right, it's at this point that I start to get a little like <coughs> eek because I need to go off what is a very well known coastal path into a path that is somewhere, you know, in those fields. Oh, there's a tractor plough in there. You see that tractor? It's brown here because he's dug up all the dirt ploughed there. He's got that whole field to do. Blimey. That's Hell's Mouth Cafe. Right, we're going down the side of Hell's Mouth Cafe to this footpath. It's there, it's definitely there. But I just saw a vibrant blue dragonfly, there it is. Oh, of course you can't see it. Okay, new section, new views, new path. Let's go. This is so still and beautiful. Blimey. Wow, here we go. Oh, it's steep. Oh, I love paths like these. So. This bit looks difficult to navigate, but there's actually a plank of wood there, a trunk there, and a plank of wood there. So you can get, you can get over quite, oh, not easily, but. What do you reckon that that's complete bog? Oh. Ooh. easy. I do like that there has been some genuine effort to make this path like not so that you completely sink into the mud. How much trust do I have in that tyre? <laughs> it was good. Good trust. Oh sorry. This farmer has been spreading muck. Do you remember that farmer I was talking to about ploughing the field? He's actually ploughing that field right there. Where's your way marker? It was open but I closed it. That's a little bit here. It's quite a nice way actually, these poles. I mean what a stunning, stunning view that is. This is such a lovely varied walk. I'm now in like a grassy field. 
beautiful and on the way down to the river okay we are we've made it um to red river Sally. i always find it very difficult to say that so this river used to be a bright red due to the mining of the tin in the local area it does say that there's an adjacent path running through what looks like very private property but this path is fine how nice so the pathway is it's like own little entity in between the um, in between the fields, which is just so nice. That's the car park. Complete. And there we have it. Circular walk from the North Cliffs. Um, National Trust car park. And down into the Red River valley, still can't say that properly, up through Coombe, 